Hello friends, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devedi and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I will be discussing how by using the magnetic properties of rocks, we can decipher that the continents are actually moving. See, continental drift theory was given by Mr. Alfred Wagner in 1912. And he gave a lot of proofs on the basis of which he said that the continents are moving. But the exact reason that why continents were moving were being you know, deciphered because of the C4 spreading theory and the plate tectonics theory. Okay, but yes, how by using the magnetic properties the continents are moving, this was being deciphered in 1950. So how by deploying the magnetic properties, we can decipher these continents are moving. This is the topic of this video. What happened? Earth's magnetic history was being studied in 1950s because a lot of magnetometers and devices that were capable of measuring the magnetic intensity of the earth were being deployed. And the magnetic properties of rocks in different locations were being analyzed by the people. Okay. And yes, geologists noted many important things about the magnetic polarity of different age rocks on the same continent. Okay. So, for example, if you are in Africa, so studying the rocks of the same age on the Africa, then the study the rocks of different ages on Africa. So, this was being done. And then this figure was being combined with the figures of the rocks on the other continents and a final result was being taken out. Now, let's see what happened. What happened friends? That see, there is a property in magnetism. For example, suppose a volcanic eruption happened and magma and lava came out of it. Now, when that magma will cool down, it will form igneous rocks. And when that igneous rock will form, that igneous rock will, you know, acquire a magnetic intensity in it a magnetic polarity in it and that magnetic polarity will be according to the current north pole the current magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole of the earth now see the magnetic north pole is not the north pole and yeah this magnetic south pole is not the south pole that is north pole and south pole which is on the antarctic and which is on the arctic and antarctic circle that is different friends okay i am talking about the magnetic north and magnetic south that is different Okay, so the rocks, the fresh rocks, which are formed by volcanic eruptions, they had the same magnetic polarity and the same magnetic strength, uh, the same magnetic, you know, alignment as the current North Pole. Okay, but what happened that when some old rocks of the same age were analyzed, okay, so older rocks of the same age were analyzed on the same continent, okay, friends. So, for example, if on Africa, fresh volcanic rocks were analyzed, so they pointed that the current magnetic north is the north. When some older rocks of the same African continent were analyzed, so they pointed to the same location, but that location was not the current north pole, friends. That means that their magnetic alignment is different and it is on the same continent. Just try to understand. The fresh volcanic rocks on Africa aligned with the our current magnetic north pole. But older rocks on the same African continent, they didn't align with the current magnetic north pole. They aligned at one same location, but that location was not our present magnetic north pole. Okay, so this proved that according to this age thing, this magnetic polarity of the earth is also moving. That means that magnetic north pole of the earth is not constant. And magnetic north pole depends a lot on what is going on inside the core of the earth. Now, why this magnetic north pole is changing, south pole is changing, this I will be taking up in a totally separate video. Here, I am just trying to tell you that how this magnetic properties were being used to decipher that actually the continents are moving. Okay, so obviously older age rocks, they were pointing at the same location, but that location was not the present magnetic north. This means that the magnetic north is not constant, it is moving. Okay, now it was said that some older rocks were, uh, you know, analyzed, their location was also seen, but magnetic north were different. Then some older, they were also different. So for with the ages of the rock going backwards, magnetic north position was changing constantly 
Okay, so this showed that magnetic north pole is moving. Now there are three explanations to this theory, friends. What can happen? That either the continents remain fixed and the magnetic pole moved, or either the north magnetic pole remain fixed and the continents moves, or order both moved. So what happened, friends? That if the fresh rocks are pointing to our current north magnetic pole, if some older rocks are pointing to same location <clears throat> but it is not the current magnetic north pole then some other older rocks are pointing some different third position okay but it is not the first two position similar logic for previous rocks so in this case you can simply say that north pole magnetic north pole is moving constantly and three reasons can be attributed to it either the contents in the continents are fixed and only the north magnetic pole is moving or the north magnetic pole is fixed, only the continents are moving because if the continents will move, the orientation of the rocks will also change and if the orientation of the rocks will change, their pointing direction will change simply or both the continents and north pole are moving. So for this, it was important to analyze the figures of rocks on different continents and this was being done. Okay, so then again, geologists did the same process of rocks in other continents. So, for example, now we move to Asia. Now in Asia, <clears throat> when the rocks were analyzed, see, geologists noted for rocks of the same age, but on different continents, the little magnets pointed to different no uh, magnetic north pole friends. Okay, so in Asia, when it was being analyzed, it was being seen. Suppose in India, it was being seen that for older rocks, they are also pointing at the same location, but it was not the same location in the case of Africa. So obviously, fresh volcanic eruption rocks in any continent will show the same because they are formed now. But rocks formed in the older age, friends, okay. So obviously, in different continents, they were showing different locations. So if they are showing different locations, then in addition, to the moving north pole there is one more thing that the orientation of the continents have also changed and if their orientation has changed friends then this means that the continents were moving so only one thing comes in front that both the magnetic north pole is also moving and the continents are also moving this is very important to understand see just a 400 million year old magnetite in Europe pointed to a different north magnetic field than the same aged magnetite in North America. So in Europe, this same year, uh, same old aged rock is showing a different direction to the rock which is showing it in North America. So obviously the orientation in North America and Europe has changed in some amount of time in the past and that is why the location shown is different despite the rock being of same age. Okay. Similar now applying this 400 million year old logic friends. So for example, this 400 million year old magnetite in Europe is showing us different north magnetic pole and the same aged magnetite in North America is showing a different north pole. Now the rocks are of the same age. That means that they were formed in the same age. And if they were formed in the same age, they had the same polarity, same magnetic polarity. But despite of that, they are showing different polarities friends. Now see, if they are showing different polarities, then if in this case the continents are fixed and not moving, then it is said that there will be two magnetic north poles. Because obviously the rocks are of the same age, they are in different continents, but they are showing different locations. But according to logic, if they are of same age, they should show same polarity but they are not showing same polarity so if the cons continents are not moving then obviously there would be two magnetic north pole at that point of time but currently we see that there is one north pole only and reason says that there can only be one north pole so if there can only be one north pole at that point of time there will only be one north pole and not two so that means that continents moved and then the geologist also fitted the continents together as the Wegener has suggested in case of Atlantic Ocean, South America and Africa. And by fitting, the geologist came to know that yes, they are actually, you know, fitting each other perfectly. And when they are fitting each other perfectly, this means, friends, that the continents are also moving and the magnetic North Pole is also moving. <clears throat> Okay, friends. So this is how things go on, friends. This was how the magnetic theory was used to devise that the continents are actually moving. I hope this video was helpful. It was slightly more technical. 
a slightly bit more difficult you need to understand magnetism in order to understand this video so i hope this video was some help to you friends if it was for some help kindly like this video subscribe to my channel please tell through comments that how you like this video and please share this video with more and more of your friends so goodbye have a great day